terms of takedowns. The worst takedown to do in jiu-jitsu. I'm gonna show you the wrestling setting, setting first. Very good takedown, but I'll show you why it's terrible in the jiu-jitsu jiu rule set, okay? So, it's called an outside fireman's carry or a dunk. I secure the hook here behind the elbow, and what I do is I shoot like a single leg, and I pull down in the arm, and what I do is I dump him right here, and I can come up into my pinning combination and finish, okay? So I have another video on this. It's called Outside Fireman's Carry. Um, some people know it as a dump as well, okay? So now here's the reason why it's absolutely terrible to do this in jiu-jitsu. So Jason's gonna set up, he gets the hook, okay? And now what happens is when he shoots this, this uh, dump, right? As he's here, okay, so let's pause for a second. As he's here, if I quickly relay this arm to here, it doesn't matter if he dumps me. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go to this hip. And what happens here is, as he dumps me, I'm gonna materialize into what we call an arm in choke. And now from here I squeeze and I can get the tap. So we call this an arm in guillotine. So just medium speed, he shoots it, I see it coming, I lock it in, and I go right before my choke. Okay? So arm in guillotine is present when people shoot that uh, outside fireman's carry go in wrestling. So if you got a good wrestler, and he likes to shoot for that, go for the arm and team, and I promise you he'll stop. If you're a wrestler, transitioning to jiu-jitsu, you best be fast with that, or uh, don't do it, because you're gonna get choked in there if they know that position. Worst move, in terms of takedowns for jiu-jitsu, don't do it.